going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about David Hayter. David Hayter, for those who don't know, is the voice of the original Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series. He has a very rough voice, someone who's easily detectable in a video game. He just has that really rough, serious, unique sound. And to me, David Hayter will always be Solid Snake. He'll always be a uh, big boss. He'll always be these Snake characters because, of course, they're clones and they should all have the same voice. And so, in the last Metal Gear game, David Hayter was fired. Uh, and, and for him, there was really no explanation as to why, other than they wanted to go a different direction. And there's been a lot of news about Hideo Kojima in the news lately, uh, and him versus Konami. And, of course, that whole story makes Hideo Kojima look really, really kind and really good because of the way he dealt with such a nasty situation. But, not everybody feels that way about Hideo Kojima. I'll drop a link in the description. Metal Gear's David Hayter, quote, I have no particular love for Kojima, end quote. In a new interview, Metal Gear Solid voice actor David Hayter rules out working with designer Hideo Kojima again in the future. Geek culture owes David Hayter an awful lot. Not only has he written such comic book movies as X-Men, X2, and Watchmen, but he's also served as the voice actor for Metal Gear's gruff hero, Solid Snake, for the past 18 years. Given Hayter's long history with the Metal Gear franchise, which began with the 1998 PlayStation entry and continued right up until 2010's Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, you might think that he'd have a certain amount of affection for Hideo Kojima, the designer behind the series. Not so, if a new interview with Game Informer is anything to go by. There he talked a bit about the behind-the-scenes story of his involvement with Metal Gear and how repeated attempts were made to replace Hayter with big-name Hollywood actor. Quote, I had to re-audition for Metal Gear Solid 3 to play Naked Snake. They made me re-audition to play Old Snake, and the whole time they were trying to find somebody else to do it. I heard that Kojima asked one of the producers of Metal Gear Solid 3 to ask Kurt Russell if he would take over for that game. He didn't want to do it, end quote. Eventually, Hayter was replaced by Kiefer Sutherland on The Phantom Pain, a casting decision Hayter only discovered from one of the game's producers. Quote, It was annoying to me, because I thought that I had given a lot to the series and really helped promote it. The whole thing could have been handled better and a little more respectfully, but I'm not going to cry about it, end quote. Since the Phantom Pain, Hideo Kojima has of course left Konami after a very public falling out and is now creating a brand new game at Sony. With Hayter's proven track record as a voice actor, would it make sense to have him aboard this new project? Maybe, but Hayter isn't keen to get involved. Quote, I've got no particular love for Kojima. I don't feel any need to go back and work with him again. End quote. So, uh, it sounds like some bridges were burned there. And to be quite honest, if this aspect of the story is true, of course there's always two sides. It sounds like uh, David Hayter has been, they've been trying to get rid of him for a while. I remember he went on Up at Noon with Greg Miller and was talking about it. How that he didn't know if he was in the game or not, he's not hearing anything. He is Solid Snake, and of course uh, Konami is dead now. But uh, I feel like, personally, anyone else trying to fill the shoes of David Hayter as a voice actor for a Snake character is going to fall flat or fall short. Uh, and, and it's it's one of those rough situations where the guy is so talented. He wrote X-Men, X2, and Watchmen. The guy has a very talented and very imaginative uh, mind. And uh, he's very talented as a voice actor. And it sounds like Hideo Kojima kind of screwed him. And it's to the point now where he feels like you've already, you fucked me. And I don't really want to work with you anymore. It's kind of a sad situation because now that Kojima's gone from Konami, he could probably use someone like David Hayter as a voice actor to really get the fervor up and move people further away from Konami and bring them over to what he's doing now. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Would it be smart for David Hayter to go work with Kojima if they, if Sony asked him to do it? I mean, what would it take for them to get him over there? Probably a boatload of money. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Share the video on your favorite social media sites. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take